Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name's Nicole. If you're old, welcome back. I hope everybody has a fantastic week this week and an amazing Christmas. Uh, and today I have my Boxy Charm. We're getting back into the makeup just a little bit. Uh, the rest of this week, uh, this will go up on Tuesday because Ipsy will go up on Monday, today, Saturday. Um, and then hopefully I'll have my Sephora play in by Wednesday and then the rest of the week through Christmas it are going to be hauls. Uh, from the rest from Black Friday and one not from Black Friday, but it's, it's a toy haul. And then I've got another one that'll go up on Tuesday and probably a few other things. But, <laughs> yeah, I got my boxy charm in decent, at a decent time this month, so it wasn't too late. Um, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. it looks like for a nice little box. And... The first thing I'm going to pull out, I'm not going to use, but it's very nice that they included a full-size expensive brand, high-end brand, the Tarte Tartist Mascara. I had tried this in a sample before. I think it's because the formula is really wet, but anyway, even after it dried, it just smudges on me, but that's nothing like some people won't work for because everything smudges on me. Unless it's like waterproof or the closest it can get to waterproof. Uh, everything will smudge on me. This just did it pretty bad. So if you don't have the uh, ice in my genius or you know like everything smudges on you. It didn't really, it didn't flake. And I loved how my eyelashes looked after I applied this. I remember that. I was like so bummed. I think I got it in an Ipsy bag. I was so bummed because I loved how it looked on my lashes. But it just smudged it. Wear. So I think this is going to be a Christmas present or in a giveaway. Um, I think I'm probably leaning more towards Christmas present right now, but yeah, so I won't be using this. But if you do not have that problem where everything but waterproof mascara smudges on you, you'd probably really like this. So give it a go. It's a $23 mascara, by the way. Oh, and I forgot it is Glitz and Glam, which it would have made more sense if they put a highlighter in the box this month with that thing. They're, they're always off on their titles just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that is $23. The next thing I got is a Real Her Be Fearless, Be Limitless blush kit. And, you know, percentage of their sales go to, like, domestic violence shelters. I don't like their liquid lipstick because they're, like, super glue. They're really pigmented, but they got to work on that formula. But their uh, lip liners are fantastic. Their eyeshadows are, like, really nice and basic. But I can see where, like, a woman who's been, like, I think it's normally, like, domestic violence kind of shelters they donate to. A woman who's been in that, like, and just venturing back into makeup probably is not going to go to Adventures. Not that there's nothing wrong with that, but she'll probably want, like, more neutral. She'll probably have to get back on her feet and get a job. You know, you have to kind of go more neutral for that especially in an interview. So I can see where they kind of cater to that, but they, I had no problems with the eyeshadows. I got a couple of very pretty looks out of the palette and it helped with one other palette when I'm doing a transition phase or setting the shade. So I was totally cool with that. And you know, I love blush. So this is cool. This is $32. So yeah. And they are gluten-free, certified cruelty-free, natural ingredients, paraben-free. Uh, I want to say they're almost vegan. They might not be quite vegan, but they don't have ever put carmine. But certain, like, you have to, like, swear you won't use beeswax or some other animal ingredient. So. And they are baked eyeshadows, and they just look really neat. It has a mirror, which is nice. You know, a lot of blushes don't have mirrors. Uh, and they are really shimmery. The only one that look is matte is the Limitless Coral kind of color, which kind of looks like something. Fearless has some gold glitter in it. And Unstoppable is a nude with some silver glitter looking. Oh, goldy silver. Uh, so we're going to swatch it. Like that is Fearless. I think it's really pretty. Okay, that's pretty. That's limitless. That's going to be more summer shade. And this is a very pretty nude called Unstoppable. And I think even with the glitter, it could almost be bronzer on some people. 
Um, I'm going to go with, and next thing we got is a Crown Deluxe Blush Brush, and it retails for $12. Uh, I prefer the black packaging if I'm going to get a crown one, but it's okay. Um, it's cheap, I use dollar brushes. So. Okay, I'm going to take this out. Some people said it was really stiff. I'm a brush cleaner, but I think it's like taking a vacation somewhere. You just see me like I had to move this little setup to get stuff out of the closet. It is stiff. But see, my regular blush brush is built like this. It is one I got from eBay for like $3 for the entire set of wooden handled brushes. Yeah, don't go to Amazon. Go to eBay. You can get those, that set cheaper. Like that Taylor, like, uh, I think it's fine. I was just trying to clean it off. It's soft. So, but I can see why people might not like this brush, but I think I'm going to make it work. So I'm just going to tap into Unstoppable, which is that nude color, because I don't have any blush on. And we're just going to see what it does. I do like that it has a mirror. That's nice. A very nude blush. There we go. Don't mind that. I'm going to top it with some fearless. Make some of that sheen action. There we go. I don't mind that. It's a little more subtle. Normally go. This, I would say, is it's even stiffer than mine. It could just need washing. I don't mind it, though, because my one that I currently use is almost this this stiff. But, hey, if it is too stiff for you, I think mine's just a little longer here, so it's a little less densely packed. If it's too stiff for you, I think this would be fantastic for cream brush, blush, brush, blah, <laughs> for cream blush. I think that's what this brush is really built for because I can just see it, like, swirling that around and buffing that into your skin so seamlessly. Um... So, yeah. I don't mind this, though. It is a little stiffer. Or as a foundation brush, if you don't like that. I think that would be good because it's pretty dense. It might not be as dense as you need it, but it's pretty dense. But, yeah. I'm not mad at it. So, the next thing we got. And I'm happy I got this instead of the color corrector. Because even though some people are saying it's that well, I don't do color correcting. I have, like, I could use some peach under my eyes because most time they just look dead. But, yeah. <laughs> They're in like a little red around my nose, but meh. Tarte Shape Tape, even the one I'm using today, covers really well. So I'm like, meh. I don't tend to color correct because that's just one step. Uh, this is from, Bron this is called Bronze Essentials from Beauté Basics. Beauté Basics. Um, the retail on this thing is $39.95. I wouldn't pay $39.95 for something this small and something this cheap in plastic. Okay, $25 maybe. If it's good. I'm not paying that much. For something I don't know. But it does have a mirror. And it's like a blend of hmm, a couple mattes and shimmers. And then a darker one. Uh, let's go in and see what it does. Okay. Okay. So what did I do? Like that one. Like that one. Oh, that's chunky. I don't know about that gold glitter. That's chunky in there. Like uber chunky. It's dry. Mm. Okay, and that's the ending color bronzer. Not overly pigmented, which is good if you don't wear a lot of bronzer. I don't know about that gold. So we're going to grab a good brush. And this is the Moda Pro Blah Blah. I don't know what it's called. Chisel. I'm going to swirl a little bit and see what happens. Very battery. Okay. Oh, it has some pigment on the face, though. Not 
Chan. Looks all right far away. I don't know what it's doing up close. I don't know about that gold glitter, what it's doing. That gold seems to have almost just, okay, no, it's all over my forehead. So, only do that if you want to a sparkly forehead. So, I think, I don't know, when they put gold glitter, it just reminds me more of the summertime when you might want to be all glittery. Like at the beach or something. I think that would be a great product. I don't know what, where that fuzzy came from, but it's irritating me. Um, so, there's that. But just swatching that gold glitter, it's chunky. It doesn't look horrible in the hand. I actually think this could be used as a eyeshadow. <laughs> Like a reasonably basic eyeshadow. Um, let's see. Okay, it does not contain carmine, so yeah, I could use it as an eyeshadow. Uh, if I didn't want to mess with the gold glitter that is now on my forehead. Alright, and the last thing is from Pretty Vulgar. This was sold in Sephora. I don't know if this brand still is because a lot of people did not care for a lot of their stuff. Um, they loved the highlighter, hated the packaging. The eyeshadows were hit and miss, so I don't know if they're even still available through Sephora. Uh, this is the My Lips Are Sealed Lightweight Liquid Lipstick. I got the color particularly sophisticated. It's a very pretty pink, shiny metallic. Uh, high pink, high pigment liquid lipstick that provides a radiant metallic finish, nice, comfortable, creamy texture, and a citrus cordial fa flavor or cordial cordial um but yeah like we want to make our liquid lipstick taste like liquor <laughs> so i'm going to wipe off this lovely um ofra lipstick from my ipsy bag which i'll link over there Still getting like okay. Maybe that's done now. Okay, it's good enough. <laughs> Should I moth and oh my gosh, I can't open this. There's no plastic. I do love the top though, it's very pretty. Very rose gold. So. And watch, you can actually see the stopper on this one. Look. Look. Maybe it's stopping all that product. How awesome is that? It's kind of cool. It does smell like something. I have glitter all over my face and I can't tell what that's from. So yeah, this is a very pretty color. I do smell like that cord cordial, cordial, whatever that you pronounce it. Does it scream Christmas? No. But February? Yeah. Maybe January? Yeah. I kind of like it. I like it. I read in summer. Um, so yeah, it's a decent boxy charm box. Um, Barring the whole one product I won't use in that bronzer, which from far away I'm not seeing the glitter. I bet you can probably see it in the sunshine. Luckily, it's late enough you're not going to see it. Uh, but I like the lipstick, so 
and the blush is pretty. And you know I'm sucking for blush. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Toodles.